What's up, gamers? Old School Fool here, and today we got a how to action going on, and we're back with the one, the only, the Mute Modder. What's going on, Mute Modder? Well, it's exactly what's going on. He's actually going to show us today with the Nintendo Re Rehabilitation Clinic shirt on. He's going to show us exactly how to rehabilitate our Nintendos. Now, I showed you guys in a few other earlier videos that uh, if you guys, Nintendos don't work, you have to clean your cartridges because it's just an old cartridge. I mean, you're 20 years old with the dirt and dust and corrosion is not going to work. But it, by all means, if you've cleaned it, several times, three, four, five, ten times, it's probably time to connect uh, a new 72-pin connection point. As you can see, the mute monitor is holding in his hand. Okay, so the mute monitor is going to rehabilitate this Nintendo system that just doesn't respond to clean games anymore. So what's going to happen, he's going to open it up for us on the camera and replace the 72-pin connector for people who aren't that savvy with electronics. So the mute monitor is going to start with the six pins, correct? Six uh, screws, I'm sorry. Six screws, as you can see. Crazy skill and precision of the mute mod never surprises the me. Now, you turn your system upside down. Make sure you don't lose any of the screws. You're gonna need that to fasten them later. Remove the top. Let's see. And if there's any dirt or dust that we suggest that you get yourself a healthy can of air to clean it off. As you can see, oh, there's some bunnies in there. And there's the screws on the outside of the metal casing, most likely to shield from any type of uh, discharge. Remove the grounding plate and you'll expose the carriage of the uh, cartridge on the motherboard. And what you'll see is actually the pins, um, I'm sorry, you actually see the screws to removing the actual bay. Remove the sled, as you can see, pop top, pops open, you're going to have to save that, you're going to need that. Make sure all the sc screws are untightened from the motherboard plate. and lift, release the actual 72-bit connector. Now that connector is what reads your pins on the original Nintendo cartridges. So that's the part you'll be getting when you order from Video Game Central, and that's the part you're going to replace onto the actual motherboard. Match up the board with the connector, slide the connector into the pin feed, line it up correctly, because if you don't line it up correctly, once again, you'll, you won't be able to screw it down and you just won't make a good connection. Make sure this slip over the, the sled, over the top of the pin connector. Just use care to make sure that It's firmly nestled into the, the top portion of the pin connector. Now if things come loose, you can always reset and reposition things. Make sure it's solid. Solid mute. Okay. Now he's going to take the two longer screws, as you can see, out of all the other screws, and refasten the 72 pin connector with the sled attached to the casing.
Two screws on the side of the control port area. Replace, very important, replace the, the grounding and, <clears throat> and protection plate that you originally had to remove to get to the, the 72 pin connector and the motherboard. Over 20 years of game goodness is now restored to its factory fresh performance. have it. Lots of screwing. Now, turn it right side up. Take a cartridge, like skate or die, and you'll also notice when you put the cartridge in, because the connection pin is new, you'll actually feel the pull on the tug of the new cartridge. It's actually harder to push and pull out and take it out. It takes a little more oomph to get it out, mainly because this is a new pin connection. It hasn't had 20 plus years of wear and tear on it. Alright gamers, Old School Fool here. Thank you once again, Mute Monitor. You are a savior of, of the old school games, myself, and of course anybody looking to throw this beautiful piece of gaming equipment in the garbage can. It's now brand new, along with your clean games. Retro gaming will be rad for the rest of your life.